Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back. I've been seeing some of Kirsten Cavallari's makeup looks and they're just so stunning. I really wanted to try and recreate it, especially this nude lip that I've been seeing her wear. It is just gorgeous. And I think I figured out what products they are. And there's been a couple of just stunning photos from her recent campaign. And I wanted to try and recreate the super simple kind of edgy glam that she goes for. So I got all the makeup that I'm gonna be using down below and then I'll also list everything in the description in case you wanna check it out. All right, here we go. Starting off with the Marshmallow Primer by NYX. This stuff smells amazing. I like it. Uh, I don't know how much it really does, but I like to feel like I'm filling in my pores and any lines and kind of smoothing out my skin. Going in with the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. This is like a perfect satin medium coverage foundation. You could actually build it up to a full coverage. I just thought it would be perfect to complement this look because it's really the perfect balance between getting that good coverage while also still looking skin-like. Using the Tarte Shape Tape to kind of cover up some of those darker areas and also going in with a little bit of concealer to really lift and brighten under my eyes. And this shade is the shade Light Medium. And I'm gonna take some setting spray here on a sponge and just blend it in. I find that this makes it kind of blend a little bit more seamlessly, look not as powdery or crepey. I still need to brighten things up a bit here. So I'm using the e.l.f. This is the Hydro Camo Concealer. And it's a perfect like creamy concealer. It doesn't crease. I just need a brighter shade. I think this is light sand because I'm having some bluish tint and it's peeking through. I don't know how much you can really see on camera, but I just need to brighten things up and really cover that. For powder, I'm starting off with the It Cosmetics. This is the translucent Bye Bye Pores. It is just a very seamless powder. I like to use it on my whole face. And then to brighten up under the eyes, I love to use the NYX Banana Powder. It is just so good at just brightening under the eyes and leaving no creases. I just love it. Changing speeds here a bit, moving on to my brows. Fill them in. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use the shade Medium Brown. It is a perfect brow pencil shade for me. And I can create my old brows that I had before I overplucked them in the 90s. To lock my brows into place, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. I think this is the Brow Wow or the Wow Brow. I'll link it down below, but I love it. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going to start with the Butter Bronzer. It's like a very perfect, like neutral, but gives your skin a very warm tone. Her photos are very bronzy, very glowy. So to further bronze up the skin, I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer, which will give me a more intense bronzy glow. For blush, I'm taking the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. It is like the perfect warm flush glow and I think it matches what she uses in the picture. And then to turn things up a notch, I'm gonna use the Rose Diora by Milani to just kind of give it a nice little blush topper that has more of a rose undertone. To add a pretty subtle glow to all the high points of the face, I'm using the Milani Champagne Diora. This is a beautiful baked highlighter. So I'm applying it to my cheekbones, a little bit to the bridge of my nose, above the brows, a little bit on the chin, and then I'm gonna dust some across my collarbones as shown in the picture. For eyes, I'm gonna be using the Tartlet Juicy Palette. It has a bunch of pretty, pretty tones. And I also may pull a shade or two from the Soft Glam Palette. So I'm gonna start off taking the shades Happiness and Fresh Start and applying them all over the crease, blending it really nice into the transition. Nothing too precise, just kind of fluffing it out and blowing it out. Based on the picture, the look is very neutral and it's not too warm or too cool toned. To add some depth to the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Charmed with a pencil brush and just blow that out a bit. I'm going to take that same shade Charmed with the pencil brush and add it to the outer V. Just kind of deepen up the outer V area and just give it a little bit of a dramatic look, but being super careful not to overdo it. Taking the shade Fresh Start and just blowing out of that lower lash line, really smoking it out. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Reflect, which is a beautiful champagne shade, and just use it as a lid topper. So I'm going to put it all over the lid, 
And I'm going to leave that like outer V area untouched. And then I'm going to also put it on my brow bone. To brighten up my waterline, I'm going to use the shade Honey Dew or Honey Dude by ColourPop. It's a perfect nude liner. And then I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus to kind of melt everything together because my face is feeling a bit stiff. I'm going to start by curling my eyelashes. I can't tell by the picture whether or not she has some falsies on. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus. Take that shade Noir. And I'm going to just deepen up right into like the lash line just to make it look like there's, you know, a band there where it could be falsies. And then I'm going to go in with one of my favorite mascaras, the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. It is perfect for this type of lash look and it just gives me the best length and volume. I love this mascara. And this mascara is also a lower lash friendly and it works great to kind of fan and feather out those lower lashes. I've read somewhere her makeup artist has been using the iconic nude Charlotte Tilbury lip liner to get that perfect nude pouty look and then topping it with the shade Nude Kate. So I've been mixing this combo together lately and I absolutely love it. Look at how stunning this shade is. The formula is really great too. It's really creamy. It's not drying at all. It just feels really luxurious. So I wanted to use the Buxom White Russian because it just really complements this. I'm not sure that she even has gloss on, but I really like this. So here is the final look. My hair is a mess, but I definitely love the simple like eye glam that she goes for and this nude lip. I'm not sure about the gloss or if she even uses a gloss, but I do like to add a little bit of a gloss just for like an extra something, but I am loving this nude lip. I think that it will work for tons of skin tones. She's like very bronzy and obviously blonde and it complements her skin tone, but I think that it's a great nude overall. And I love how simple the eye makeup is. It's like just enough to show that it's glam without it being too much. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.